Her sister's murder has gone unsolved here in Portland for more than six years and now. Tonight, she's asking for your help getting justice for Janine. Our Amy Frazier is here with more from the victim's family. Amy. As long as she's breathing, Colleen Hunter says she'll keep pushing for answers. I found out her sister's case remains an active investigation. She would have turned 57 years old last weekend. I mean, every day's hard. We are always thinking about her, but, you know, there are those days like her birthday or the day that she was murdered that are especially tough. For six and a half years, Colleen Hunter has waited and wondered. I just, every day I think about this person is out there, he's free as a bird, he's enjoying the, you know, the weather and... It's just wrong. It just seems wrong. And I worry that something's going to happen to somebody else, that he's going to do it again. Janine Toth never showed up for a family barbecue here at her sister's house in Salem. On September 8, 2009, Portland police went to Janine's North Portland apartment and discovered her inside, stabbed to death. Unreal, really. Family members say she was a beautiful person. She was also struggling with depression and alcohol. And she was hanging around with some people that were, you know, less desirable. Two weeks before her murder, Janine filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend. To me, that's a huge red flag. Still, there have been no arrests in the case. Just so hoping that somebody can come forward with some kind of just any little piece of information. Justice for Janine would mean everything to her family. My mom's getting really old. She's, um, you know, she. I would like for her to see justice before she dies. My dad died three years ago, and he did not get to see it. And um, so that's pretty hard to know that he didn't get to see that in his life. Crime Stoppers is offering up to a $2,500 reward for information that leads to an arrest in this case. The number to call is 503-823-HELP. We also have that information for you tonight at coin.com. Back to you. Thank you.